Hello, this is Spec Ops 56 and welcome back to my tube radio restoration bench. Today we're going to do a little update on this Swan 250 6 meter rig that uh, we're working on. Our next step is to track down the problem with the uh, meter that's on the rig. The output side uh, seems to have a problem. It reads, but it, it reads way too low. Um, as you can see, I've got the I've got the the uh, meter on the rig and our external meter hooked up and, and in the same frame, so that when I turn it to tune, you'll see the difference in the output reading between the two meters, and and that will show you exactly what the problem is. So here goes on tune. You can see there's a major difference in, in their reading of the output. So what we're going to have to do is track down what's causing that. We have no problem with the cathode uh, reading side of the meter, but on this output side it's just, it's just reading way lower than it should. So we've looked at the schematic and uh, basically in the, in the output side of the meter circuit, is uh, one diode, two capacitors, and three resistors. So that's what we're going to check first to see if any of those are bad or, or seriously out of spec because that could be what's causing it. So um, as soon as we've tracked down which component it is, we'll come right back and uh, show it to you before we replace it. All right, we're trying to figure out what's causing the problem with the power output uh, side of the rig's meter. And uh, checking the schematic, we found that the only components that are in the circuit for that side of the meter are the, this cluster of, uh, of components right here. Uh, what this consists of is uh, a 110k resistor, one 1k resistor, one 27k resistor, two 0.002 uh, capacitors, and a 1N34A diode. Now we've tested each of these components uh, with the meter and uh, they they all test good but uh, something something is uh, obviously uh, not good so what we're going to do is we're going to start replacing the components uh, one by one starting with the diode and then we'll check the uh, the watt meter side of the meter and see if it starts reading uh, closer to what it should uh, once we have completed that and uh, either gotten the meter working properly uh, figured out why it isn't working or failed miserably, uh, we'll come back and I'll give you another update. So until then, uh, let's get to work. It all goes to show you that it's always something. Okay, here's the story so far. When we left, we were uh, thought we had a problem with the meter, and it turned out that we didn't. It just wasn't putting out enough power to, uh, to show any output on the meter on the rig. We do need to calibrate that meter, however, uh, which I'll get into later. We um, tuned it up with the original finals and I'm afraid they were a lot like me, old and tired and worn out. And the best we could get out of them was 30 watts. 
Now this rig is rated to put out 100 plus watts of, of output and so I knew that that wasn't going to be satisfactory. So what I did, I bought from uh, Antique Electronic Supply a match set of brand new made in China 6146B final tubes. And yeah, yeah, I know, made in China. I, I don't want to hear about it. Uh, they were a lot cheaper than the new old stock ones, uh, and so that's why I went with them. And you can see them there in the rig. And uh, we're going to tune it up now and see how much of an improvement we get. Okay, we uh, tuned up the uh, rig with the new finals and it made a significant difference. Uh, what you're looking at right now is the face of my little MFJ uh, external meter. I've got it set to the uh, 300 watt scale and uh, we've already we've already tuned up uh, adjusted all the controls for the tune up and I'm just going to turn it to tune and you'll be able to see uh, the power output uh, on the meter. So here we go. We're getting about 125 watts out of it now. So that was one major improvement. Um, now that we've got that problem solved, we're going to uh, calibrate the uh, meter and then we're going to go through the receiver and the align the transmitter alignment uh, procedures as best we can without an oscilloscope. And uh, once we've done that, then the last thing we'll do is install the uh, the fan that, that we're going to put on it to draw the heat out and uh, that'll be uh, coming up shortly why are you sitting there resting when we're so near the end come on let's go 